हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास ऑफ पैराडाइम एंड कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग फंडामेंटल्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी सो व्हाट इज प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडाइम एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडाइम्स आल्सो वी डिस्कस द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंपरेटिव एंड डिक्लेरेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडाइम विद द हेल्प ऑफ रियल वर्ल्ड सिनेरियो in today's session we are going to focus on more differences between imperative and declarative programming paradigms so let's start with the first difference imperative programming is like how to do something and declarative programming is more like what to do so here we can say the difference between imperative and declarative programming is related to how a program works versus what a program does now the next difference is with imperative programming you tell the compiler what you want to happen step by step on the another side with declarative programming you write code that describes what you want but not necessarily how to get it now the next difference is in imperative programming paradigm user make decisions and commands the compiler but on the another side in declarative programming paradigms user allow compiler to make their own decisions next as we saw step by step instructions need to be followed and thus order of execution of instruction is important in imperative programming but order of execution of instruction is of little importance in declarative programming next with imperative programming paradigm we perform step by step task and also manage changes in the state but at the another side in declarative programming paradigm we define what the problem is and what data transformations are needed to achieve the solution next let us now see which programming languages are comes under imperative programming paradigm and which are comes under declarative programming paradigm so now first we'll see imperative programming languages so you can see c c sharp python ruby fortran c++ java cobol ada javascript these programming languages are comes under the category of imperative programming paradigms next we will see declarative programming languages here haskell scala prolog sql xslt these programming languages are comes under the category of declarative programming paradigms now let's see the difference between imperative and declarative programming paradigms with the help of programming example so first we'll see the example of imperative programming as we know imperative programming is concerned about how to do means step by step instructions we need to provide over here so here you can see in this example suppose my goal is to double every item which is present in the array so to do this we need to provide step by step instruction that is to write a function called double which takes in an array of numbers and then return a new array after doubling every item in that array so this is a small example of imperative programming where we need to provide step by step instructions to achieve our goal next we'll see the example of declarative programming as we know declarative programming paradigm is more concerned about what to do so here suppose in this example i want information of all the users who lives in mumbai so here you can see without instructing how to do it single query of sql performing the task of getting all the users information who lives in mumbai 
so these are some of the main basic differences between imperative and declarative programming paradigms thank you